for return. Now the original door for return used to be a very small door, right here. Very tiny door, just look at that right there. We call this door the door of no return because this was the final exit of all the enslaved African people. Once our ancestors walked through this door, they never came back to Africa. It was at this very point that a new journey emerged and an end of an experience was totally disconnected. The Africans were all in chains and chapters. The African men had to crawl through this door. However, the big slave ships that transported our ancestors from here to the Americas were anchored about a hundred meters away from here. But the English colonizers would bring small slave boats closer to the castle and force a few Africans onto and transport them to the bigger slave ships. In that order, all the enslaved Africans went onto the bigger slave ships. And then the journey will begin. The journey from here to the Americas is called the Middle Passage. It's scary and dangerous. During the slave trade, the English colonizers had 13 colonies in the US. Over 40% of all the enslaved African people were forcibly transported from the West African region to the Americas, were being transported by the Portuguese. And Portuguese normally transported Africans to Brazil. That is why Brazil has a very large population of African people. Today, we are going to walk through the door. Millions of our ancestors walked through and they never came back to Africa. Today, we are going to walk through a door that millions walked through and their identities, heritage, culture was totally disconnected from them. But I've come to tell you that death is not the end. Black energy never dies. Please come. Thank you.